Hey fam, what's up? Robert Anton, RobertAnton.com. Peace, peace. Well, there's so much going on right now. But um, today, I'm a little disheveled and stuff. I've been sleeping crazy. I had uh, gigs this weekend just passed. And uh, just so many things going on. So I haven't done So You Want to Be a Singer in quite a while. And I thought that today, because I was thinking about some things that I would do it, um, I'm going to call this uh, So You Want to Be a Singer. It's hard work. <laughs> <laughs> because a lot of people, they think um, that you become a professional singer by, you know, just going out there and starting to do it or going out there and starting to audition and, or, or, you know, some people do fall into it, actually, um, which is a great thing. But then they start to actually do the work. And a lot of people think, oh, these young people are discovered and then, then they just go ahead and do what they do. But it's not true. I mean, most of the times uh, they get sent to, you know, vo vocal teachers and coaches to learn about their voice and to improve whatever they have to improve. They go through a lot of training. They go through a lot of rehearsal on songs, writing and, and all these different things. So you just don't see all of that background work. Um, people like uh, Christina, Argale uh, Christina Aguilera and um, uh, Justin Timberlake and all them, remember, they were on the Mickey Mouse Club. So since they were kids, they've been, you know, practicing and training and rehearsing, learning choreography, learning uh, music and, and, you know, just generally working on, in, in the business. And it's hard work. So the reason I thought about this right now is because I got a lot of work to do. <laughs> I have a gig coming up this Saturday, October 25th. And I got a lot of information on the gig a few months ago, and I just kept writing back, writing back to the person who booked me on the gig, and I'm like, you know, give me the music, give me the music, you know, because it's like, oh, there's all this stuff we want you to learn. So, he gives me about seven, eight songs. So I'm like, okay, I, I'm supposed to memorize these. It's a little different from my normal gig because these people, they don't use, um, sometimes we use sheets, kind of like cheat sheets on stage, but they don't use any, I guess, because they have a big production kind of thing or whatever, I don't know. But for whatever reason, this one band doesn't do it. So I have to learn everything, I have to memorize everything. So I was like, send it to me very early because I'm working on new music every single week, sometimes three, four, five or more songs, you know, but generally I can just learn the melody or whatever and, you know, have the words in front of me and learn the melody and the changes and stuff and all that. Okay, so <laughs> I say that, so I'm, I'm working on this stuff and I'm really getting most of the stuff, you know, I, it's, it's a long list, hold on a minute. Some of the stuff is like, um, Now That We Found Love and uh, Four Minutes and Sexy Back and what else do they want me to learn? Some Stevie Wonder stuff, uh, I Wish and uh, some other stuff. I actually have a, a learning, like a... a, a I have a channel, not a channel, but uh, a playlist on here that's learning. And I don't know if it's private. I want to make it public uh, if I can find out how to do it now. From I don't know how to go back in and make it public, but I'm going to go and find out how I do that. So that if people want to look and they can see what I'm learning every week, you can check and see what I'm learning. But there's a bunch of stuff in there right now, you know. So I get all this stuff and I'm getting on top of it. I'm, I'm pretty decent on all of it. You know, I still got several days to go, so I'm very happy with where I am. But then Friday just passed. He sends me like four or five more songs. <laughs> and I mean, I'm like, are you nuts? And he's like, I'm sorry, you know, they just requested, you know, blah, 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 blah. So I'm like, oh, it's like, I don't know, but, you know, I'm going to try. You know, all I can do is do my best, naturally. Um, so I'm sitting here today because I had stuff that I had to learn for last, for just this past weekend. So I didn't really have time to go over these things. I kind of went on YouTube and I saved them and I listened to them every day when I'm, like, doing stuff around the house. You know, just to try to get it into my head, how it goes and the changes of the music and everything. But then now I have to, actually today I'm sitting down for the four new songs or five new songs. I think it's um, Sir Duke, Higher Ground, those are. Stevie Wonder, if you don't know. Billy Jean, which I've done long, long ago once, but I never memorized it. Um, You're All I Need to Get By. Uh, that's uh, uh, Tammy Terrell and Marvin Gaye. You know, so just, just other stuff. Which isn't that difficult, but just like trying to memorize all this stuff. And once you know how it is when you're cramming for a test. So I'm trying not to cram. I'm trying to work a little bit every day, which is what I do. I work a little bit every day on the things that I need to learn. And then I'll go back over the other things that I've been working on. And I might sing along with the music. Maybe while I'm doing something, I'll have the music on and I'll sing along with it to make sure I know the parts. And if I don't know something, I'll go check. You know, if I miss an a, a, a entrance or something, I'll go back and see, you know, why I missed it or whatever. So it is hard work and you have to decide, you have to find out what works for you. 
You know, because you don't always just fall into, oh, doom, this, I'm going to learn it and it's going to happen this way. Because it doesn't always happen the, <laughs> the way it should happen. Different people learn different ways. And one of the ways I learned is just by listening to something over and over and over again. But also, um, once I, I have a good gist of how it goes, then I have to go back and fine tune. I have to say, okay, well, this comes in, you know, and I might have to count something in a few times to make sure that I have it. So in my mind, every time I'm going through it, it's like one, two, and I, but one, two, three, and nine, 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 whatever it has to be, you know. So I don't know if you get it by that. That's crazy. I do, do crazy stuff all the time. <laughs> and you're supposed to understand. So if you don't understand, ask a question. Um, so I'm working on all this stuff, and you know, I have my keyboard over here, and what is it? Uh, uh, the Stevie Wonder stuff is all very high. It's pretty much out of my range. So I have to actually go in and find out what key I do it in also. So I have to go and say, okay, you know, well, higher ground is uh, really, really like way out of this world, you know. So I have to take it down like a fourth, you know. Um, Sir Duke is, is almost there, but it's a little high for me. So if I take it down a step, it might be cool, you know. So it's, it's just little things that you have to do with the music. It's not easy. It just is not easy. It looks easy sometimes, and people make it look easy, especially if they've worked hard on their instrument, they've done a lot of practice and a lot of training. It looks easy because then it's more natural. Um, you, you go through, like, okay, people say, oh, Robert, you just sing so naturally. You, you know, it just flows. It just, yeah, it does now because I've been doing it since I was, you know, my, my bio says since I was a thought, but I've been doing it since I was a kid. Plus, I went to high school for voice. I went to college for voice. I've had several music uh, uh, voice teachers and coaches. So it does come kind of naturally, but not always. And when it doesn't come naturally, that's when I tend to work on it over and over and over and sing through it again and again and again until it seems like it comes naturally. Because when you're on stage, a lot of times, sometimes it is true, people like to see you struggle a little bit and try to reach that note. But that's all theatrics. <laughs> I mean, not all the time. But a lot of times, that's theatrics. That's a part of the performance. You want your voice to be there when, when, when it's supposed to be there. So you want to work on this thing so much that, you know, you don't even have to think about it. Or even like, um, this Saturday I was doing crazy, you know, they are crazy. And I started the third verse with the first line of the second verse. And, you know, as soon as I started singing it, I realized it. So I just finished the first line of the um, second verse. And then I did the second line of the third verse. Just got right back into it. And the female singer was looking at me. She knew something was strange, but she didn't know quite what. <laughs> But it's that I had, you know, done that, but I, boom, jumped right back on course. And if I hadn't realized it, I probably would have just sang the second verse again, you know, and then we would have done the third verse, but that would have been fine. You know, that, it wouldn't have been like anything crazy, no big problem. But you do want to know these things. You know, people say, oh, I get so nervous and I get blah, blah, blah. A lot of times you get nervous because you don't feel like you have it. You don't feel like it's under your belt. You don't feel like you've worked hard enough. And I also do a video on performance anxiety. If you guys want to go back and take a look at that, some things that you can use, maybe some ideas that you can try to uh, work on to, to keep that stage fright down a little bit. You know, I get nervous sometimes, too. I have this big thing a lot of times, especially at club day gigs, where um, if I don't have the words in front of me, stuff that I know I've memorized and stuff like that, now and then the music will start, and I'll be like, what song is that? <laughs> And then I'll be like, what's the first words? You know, and, I, and sometimes they don't come to me until I like and open my mouth and then it's there. You know, but I've worked on it so much that it's there. But sometimes I think my mind plays tricks on me. So it's just, it's just really strange. It's not easy. It's not easy. But it does become easier, just like anything else, the more you work on it. The more you work on it, the easier it becomes. Um, all right, so that's what I wanted to talk about. And hopefully this isn't too long. Uh, if it is, I'll try to do some little cuts here and there. And um, this is Robert Anton right at robertanton.com. Check out my videos. Pick up some music. Don't forget to pick up some music at iTunes. I have songs on download. I have like 30-something songs available on download. I also have CDs available at cdbaby.com. And the links are all over the place. You can go to my channel. You can go here. There should be some links here. You know, just wherever. Please support the music. This is what I do for a living. Thanks so much.